Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some uh, tricks to help you uh, debug inside a UI Builder. So I've created a simple uh, example page inside an experience. We've got a stepper here on top and here's some uh, list view displaying the task table. Uh, and what we want to do is we want the user to, uh, after they click the new button, we set a state variable to the, uh, the name of this table. And to accomplish that, inside the client state, I've already set up a, a table, a table name variable, which uh, initial value is set to none, which looks like this. In order to accomplish that, what we need to do is we need to go to the, uh, to the list and to event mappings, and then there's an event for the new button clicked. In this section, we want to link an, a page script which sets the state variable. But before we do that, I'd like to just log the, the event. And so this is a custom page script that I've written, um, which I can show you in a second. So if we go to scripts, log event, here I've got an event. All it does, sorry, I've got a script which just logs the event like this. That's all it does. And you'll see why that's useful in a second, because if I open this, and if I go to console, and I click new, you see it logs an object here. And we see within that object, we also got a payload with table.task. And this is the uh, value we want to set into the state. So this is a useful trick to, to debug. So the next step is uh, we want to set the state. So I've written a page script for that as well. So in this page script, all that we do is we set the state to uh, the variable that I set up, table name, and we set that to event payload table. Uh, so this is the variable that we found within the structure of this object before by, by logging it. So I like to wrap that in a try catch clause because um, sometimes I'll make a typo or I'll do something uh, wrong and then uh, it doesn't show you the error on the client side, on this side, the live experience. And so to make it show up, you, uh, you can catch the errors and, and log them like this. In this case, this is, I've tested this so I know this is correct, but there's another challenge here. So here I'm setting the state. Let me just reload the experience. Even though we're so it sometimes does that, it re refreshes everything. So here now we're logging the uh, event and we're also setting the state in the background, but we have no way to verify if that's actually happened or not. And to, um, to address this problem, I've also created a log state and this is a a script that I use often, uh, which all it does is it just logs the, the current state. Um, but we want to trigger that. And so to trigger that, we add a button here at the bottom. Uh, we call it log state. And we just log state like that. And so this should just log the entire state object to help us debug. So if we now open this. And go to we can test it first uh, we can it logs a proxy object there's a target and here we see table name is none that's as expected now we click new it logs the event again and in the background it should have set the state and we can verify this by clicking log state and there's uh, some mistake that's happened. Uh, I know what happened is that here we forgot to um, add the event handler. So the save event. So let's save that. So now it should work. So you see how useful it is to have these debugging uh, options. Right, so we log state, we see table name none, we click new, log state again, and we see table name task. So they, these 
are some of the uh, the tricks, some of the tools that you can use to help uh, debug uh, experiences and things with UI Builder.